at this problem. 3 added to a number gives us 10. Find that number. We know it's 7 but that's not the reason why I asked you this question. I want to know how can we represent this problem in a simpler way. We can probably say x plus 3 equals 10. Find x. 3 is added to a number to get 10. We just assign a variable to that number. This is called an equation and it helps us write large problems like these in a shorter way. This equation has just one variable which is x and it's an unknown and the highest power of x is 1. These kinds of equations are called linear equations in one variable. They are also referred to as first degree equations in one variable. They are called linear or first degree because the highest degree of the variable is 1. We will have a deeper understanding of why such equations are called linear in the coming videos. We categorize an equation into three parts. We have an equality sign in the center. To its left is the left hand side which is shown here as LHS and to its right is the right hand side shown here as RHS. The problems for such kind of equations require us to solve for the value of the variable. There are two ways in which we can solve the equation. The first method is called the inverse operations method and the second one is by using the transpose method. Both the methods give us the same answer. But after we solve equations using both the methods, we will realize that the transpose method is preferred over the inverse operations method.